to use any of the e-instruction devices properly, they must first be connected and displayed inside the device manager. To open the device manager, click on the icon in the tools tray, e-instruction tools. Now click on e-instruction device manager. A new window appears displaying all devices that have been connected to the computer. A green check indicates that the device is connected, while a red check indicates that the device is currently not connected to the computer. To see the properties of a device, I'm going to select the Mobi. I could either double click or I can click on the wrench for properties. In here I can rename the device just by typing in there. I can also see the firmware version. When I'm done, click OK. To see the properties of the CPS receiver, I could double click or you can also click on the properties icon. Here you can see other information such as the firmware version of the receiver. You will be able to power off all of your student response pads from here. You will see the power level which lets you increase or decrease the strength of the broadcast. And most important is the base channel. This is the frequency that the student response pads need to communicate to. When finished, click OK. And I can now close this window. And this is looking at connected devices inside Device Manager.